You're watching WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon. We're hitting 1230. Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey for WKYT. Police in southern Kentucky are looking for thieves right now who may be targeting a specific church. Someone broke into the Oak Ridge Church of God in Whitley County earlier in the week. Now, it's not the first time that the small rural church has been the victim of a crime. WKYT's Phil Pendleton talked with the pastor who says this time the crime was very unusual. It's our top story at 1230. The Oak Ridge Church of God here in Whitley County has been the victim of numerous break ins and burglaries over the past 10 years. In fact, I was here in 2014 when they broke in and broke windows out of the church. And just this past week, the pastor tells me the thieves broke in again, this time stealing things that just baffles him two liters of pop, garbage cans, garbage bags, really. Nothing of incredible value that they took. He says he doesn't really understand why they're doing this and why his church has been the victim. Uh, it's very frustrating. Uh, you uh, live in a community that, that uh, you would think would respect the house of God more. The local constable's office, the Williamsburg City Police Department, both investigating this. The pastor says if you have any information at all, if you notice a suspicious vehicle in this area, River Road, Oak Ridge, Church Road, Highway 204, you're urged to call the local 911 center here. In Whitley County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Now, the pastor says that they also stole some tools and left some damage to the side door. We had a few more snowflakes this morning, but we're about to get a break from the winter weather. It's Doesn't about that time, sound great? Is it right? The improvement will start tomorrow. It will continue into the weekend. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is here with a check of that forecast. Micah? Yeah, we're really waiting on tomorrow. We talked about this past few days that this day right here, we're still going to have that chance at a couple of flurries, a couple of flakes early in the morning. We had that northbound, and now we're seeing still some low laying clouds out in about especially east and southeastern Kentucky where you could still get that drizzle and still more than likely seeing a couple of flakes here and there. Temperatures are 33 degrees in Lexington. You look southbound mid 30s, it's not going to change that much. I mean, we're talking about 36 later on this afternoon with those clouds hanging tight. That'll take you off into the night. If you have any plans later on this evening, any basketball games, high school basketball games, anything happening, it's good to go. 35 degrees above freezing. We'll be all right there on the roads. Off into the night and into tomorrow. Look at that. Now compare that. 41 tomorrow, 33 today at the same time. I mean, you're talking about a big upswing of temperatures, but that's not even the big swing. I mean, we really see a huge swing towards your weekend. I'll show you how high we go because we haven't seen these type of temperatures, really felt those, in over two weeks. We'll have that coming up. All right, Michael, we'll see you in a bit. And a busy Kentucky highway is closed this afternoon because of a mudslide. A driver came across the slide on US 25 in Rock Castle County early this morning. It's near the Laurel County line. Crews had to wait for hours for the mudslide to finally stop. They've started working on it, clearing it now, but they say it won't be a quick job. It is a big job. Uh, of course, you know, whenever the weather is like it has been here lately, you know, with all the rain and, and the snow that we've gotten and then the temperatures, you know, it's freezing and then, you know, it thaws out pretty quickly. You know, stuff like this happens and, you know, whatever's on that hillside is, you know, it could possibly come down. So they've got rocks to deal with, trees, and as well as mud. And crews are blaming the rain and warmer temperatures for causing the dirt to slide out onto the highway. A man is in jail accused of trying to hire someone to commit a murder. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office arrested 26-year-old Jordan Nicholas after they say he made the arrangements with an undercover deputy. The Sheriff's Office arranged the meeting after getting a tip about Nicholas. They say he had the wrong idea about the person he wanted dead. Solicited the murder of an individual he had been uh, involved in a drug deal with. Actually, he thought the individual was an informant for the sheriff's office, and in reality, he was not uh, an informant for the sheriff's office. Now, the sheriff's office says Nicholas was out on parole at the time. He's charged with solicitation to commit murder. Police in Scott County are looking for the man who robbed a Domino's. It happened around 2 o'clock this morning on U.S. 25 in Georgetown. Police say a man with a gun stole cash. Three employees were inside at the time. No one was hurt. 
A school board member pleaded not guilty to DUI charges this morning. Police arrested Estill County School Board member Amy Thomas for driving under the influence last week. They say she had difficulty walking, standing, and dialing her phone during the arrest. She is also charged with carrying a concealed weapon as well as possession of a controlled substance and wanton endangerment. The judge suspended her driver's license for 120 days. Her term as a school board member is set to end next month. Deputies have arrested two people accused of kidnapping a man at a Kentucky hotel. The Boone County Sheriff's Office says Charles Burnett and Emma Hamesser took the man at gunpoint from the Quality Inn and Suites in Boone County Sunday. Deputies say the pair then drove the victim to multiple ATMs and forced him to withdraw money until one of the machines finally took his card. We're told the ordeal ended after they punched the victim and kicked him out of the car. Police have made an arrest in the shooting of a mail carrier. Eric Bennett is charged with assault and attempted murder. Police say the mailman was on his route last week in Louisville when he was shot. The mailman survived. Police aren't sure why he was targeted. Pope Francis will become the first pope to visit the U.S. Mexican border. He will be there today. It's part of a five day visit to Mexico. And as Adriana Diaz reports, people on both sides of the border have spent months preparing for the Holy Father's arrival. Pope Francis will celebrate Mass before hundreds of thousands in Juarez later today, about 50 yards from the border with El Paso, Texas. The plan is that, that after the Mass, that he will walk up to the fence and to offer a, a personal prayer for, for migrants. On Tuesday, the Pope displayed a rare show of anger. He scolded an admirer after the person pulled his robe so hard that the Pope nearly fell down on a child in a wheelchair. Francis told the person twice not to be selfish. Earlier, the Pope addressed 45,000 young people in Moralia. The Pope said he knows it's hard for youth to feel valued when they've lost so many loved ones to drug violence. Reminiscent of a rock concert, one person shouted, We love you, Pope Francis. But not everyone is happy that the Pope is here. Some call his visit a diversion. How many people do you think are unhappy with the Pope here? 10%, 20%? No, I think a little bit more because they think that uh, the money should be uh, in other areas. The hashtag, I don't want the Pope to come, has appeared on Twitter. This man said the estimated $10 million spent for his visit should go to education, health, and employment. But millions of others disagree and have embraced the Pope at every turn. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Mexico City. And for all those who cannot make it to Juarez for the Mass, there will be a simulcast at a stadium on the U.S. side of the border. The misuse of a widely used drug is sending young adults to a lot of emergency rooms. Also, what your gut could be telling you about your overall health. Coming up in Better Living on WKYT. Set a date with the talk five days a week. There we go. From Major Mondays. I'm pregnant. <laughs> To Fearless Fridays. Make an appointment. I'm just going to the ladies room. This is live television. To share your weekdays with the talk. Does anyone have the flu? On CBS. You think you've got a good answer? How about your panties? This is too much information. <laughs> Family feud. One full hour starting at 7 on the CW Lexington. I was scared to go back to the dentist because I hadn't been in for a while. They cut me some slack when they saw all this plaque and they didn't make fun of my smile. I don't have insurance, but they didn't mind, which I thought was a setup for robbing me blind. But I financed my teeth, this toothpaste was free, and the numbing stuff really worked wonders on me. No insurance? With a free new patient exam and x-rays, plus extended financing available, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Buying new windows is a big decision, but it doesn't have to be a hard one. Ask your neighbors if they'd recommend Champion Windows. Better yet, ask 40,000 of them. An independent firm did, and more than 9 out of 10 said they love Champion Windows. And our salespeople, installation crews, and our price. And now get $300 off per window. And you pay nothing for 18 months. So call 888-4CHAMPION today. And hurry, offer ends soon. The decision is easy. Every home needs a champion. You are never far away from a new Toyota. Find the latest offers on your tablet or phone. 
Toyota is everywhere you are at buyatoyota.com. Now, during the final days of Toyota's Anytime, Anywhere event, get this 2016 Camry with zero for 60 financing plus $500 bonus cash. Get $1,250 customer cash or a $179 a month lease. So visit here and then come in here. Now through February 29th, Toyota, let's go places. After you're injured at work, a lot of times the insurance company will attempt to call you, take statements. Don't speak to them until you speak with an experienced workers' compensation attorney. The insurance company will attempt to settle your case for pennies on the dollar. Before you talk to the insurance company, call us first. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. I'm WKYT Sam Dick, and I stand for Kentucky. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Looking across the way, you got to go over toward the far eastern areas, maybe to see a couple of flakes, a couple of flurries, but nothing that's going to cause any issues, I guarantee it. Here's the look outside. Cloudy skies, too. I didn't put satellite on. But I can show you that on Skycam. Look at that. And that fog was pretty, I mean, it was very dense this morning, but it was very patchy, meaning not everybody actually saw that. So it's here, and then you go five miles down the road, and it wasn't there. So it was just very patchy. But that fog's still trying to lift the lower level clouds, and those clouds typically give off at this time of year, maybe a little drizzle, maybe a couple of flurries out and about. But for the most part, we're going to stay with mostly cloudy skies the rest of the day. And these temperatures won't really budge that much more, maybe a degree or two. That's it. 32 there in Somerset. You go down toward High Rogers Parkway. And just keep in mind, still some of that runoff could cause a few issues in those creeks and streams as they're, as they're pretty flooded in those areas down in east and southeastern Kentucky. But I just don't see a major issue right now. No flood warnings or advisories in effect at this moment. Let's talk about your next few days. Couple of flakes today. It's a possibility, especially down in eastern areas. Then you're talking about temperatures above 32. So you get temperatures above 32 degrees, all is pretty well, right? Even if you get some snow, it's not a big issue. But as we head off into Thursday and into Friday, Thursday will be the 40s. Friday, we're talking 50s and maybe even a few 60s. Now, here's what I can promise you. I can promise you we're going to see a steady warm-up and a big warm-up, too. But here's one thing that really you'd like for me to promise you. 60s for highs toward the weekend, I can promise you that. In many areas, really, really nice weather ahead. And look, there's a small rain chance, but it's really on Sunday. It's not a big chance. So really, once we get past today, today's pretty ugly. But after that, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you have anything going on, you'll have the green light. It's going to be beautiful weather, especially heading off into Friday evening, off into Saturday evening. Those two evenings are really nice. Heading out to eat, you got any events going on. Uh, a lot looks pretty good. I know we have stop coming up in, coming up yeah. in the uh, interview it's gonna be a fun fun <laughs> event to go to really fun so yes, yeah we're yeah. excited about that. they've been collecting things yes for they the, have they're so ready to go we'll see them there. in a bit yep. well thank you and adderall is landing more and more young adults in the hospital and should children be screened for autism kenneth craig has details and has better ready reports a U.S. task force says there isn't enough evidence to recommend screening for autism spectrum disorders in young children. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force looked at children a year and a half to two and a half years old who did not have any concerns raised by family members, caregivers, or doctors. The panel found no direct evidence that a screening would benefit those children. Misuse of the stimulant Adderall in related emergency room visits are up dramatically among young adults. That's according to a new study from Johns Hopkins. Researchers found the problem is mainly 18 to 25 year olds who take Adderall without a prescription, often getting the drug from family and friends. And changes in gut bacteria could be an early indicator of type 2 diabetes. Researchers in South Korea observed changes in the microorganisms before any symptoms of type 2 diabetes developed. They say this discovery might be useful for early diagnosis and treatment. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. And keep it right here for been rounding up some items around the station. They really have, and uh, now they're going to have a special performance. We're going to get a preview coming up on WKYT. The
treasure folks are loving is the ocean's greatest haul. McDonald's filet fish the most golden of them all. Right now, get two flaky filet fish sandwiches for just $5. Think you might be pregnant? No judgment, no pressure, just help. AssuranceCare.org Everyone wants to be energy smart, but sometimes we need a little reminder. With Simple Saver, you save energy and the environment, and you earn energy bill credits. So take the hint. Just call or sign up online, and we'll do all the work. Simple Saver, because being energy smart pays. A message from Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Now that we've added adjustable base, I can sit up without propping pillows up or having to just everything move around. You don't have to do anything. It does everything for you. You can read a book or watch your movies, mm -hmm. get your taxes done, whatever. <laughs> it's, like, it's kind of perfect. Change your sleep, change your life, change the Tempur-Pedic. Sleep Outfitters offers 0% financing on every Tempur-Pedic every day at every location. Find your nearest location at sleepoutfitters.com. Announcing the ultimate Red Tech event at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond. With GM Supplier pricing for everyone on every new GMC. That means every new GMC terrain at GM Supplier pricing. Every new Sierra pickup at GM Supplier pricing. And every new Acadia at GM Supplier pricing. Plus, get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. The ultimate Red Tech event only at one place. Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, where... See it says sell them. H.H. Craig's President's Day Sale is going on now. Craig's got it! Save up to 35% off TVs and furniture. Big brand TVs like Samsung, Sony, LG, and more. Buy an RCA 58-inch smart TV just $4.98. Then make your great room even greater with sofas, dining sets, and more. Get a recliner just $4.49 plus zero interest for up to 48 months. Celebrate the savings now at H.H. Craig. Craig's got it! What do these women have in common? They are the staff of Ageless Medical Weight Loss. They've lost a combined 1,300 pounds. The team at Ageless will understand your struggles and celebrate your victories. For a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Give us five minutes to make your life easier. MomsEveryday.com Wake up with a hot McCafe coffee starting at only one dollar. All right, welcome back in. We're going to have a little wild time here. This is not your typical percussion show. Household items like are used as musical instruments. Stomp is coming to the Lexington Opera House tonight. And we're happy to be joined by the performers who are going to <laughs> stomp the station. Welcome, Jeremy. <laughs> glad to have you here. Thanks for having us. Stomp, what is it? Yeah. Stomp, it's a, it's a show we make music with everyday items, things you can find anywhere. And you did that in the station. You went around, you've kind of collected some things, and we're going to hear from you uh, uh, here in just a little bit. Uh, just first of all, what are the kinds of things you've, you've gathered up here? I always go for the trash can. It's got a lot all of right. low end. Well, why not? Yeah, yeah we, have, we have a cupcake pan. We have coffee cups. We have a, I don't know what Ivan found, but I'm sure it sounds good. <laughs> of course it's going to. And this is just a sample of what people will be able to enjoy at the Lexington Opera House. So hopefully people will call and get those tickets. But we want to enjoy our little preview. We do. All right. Wanna, Guys, take it away. Take Let's it away. enjoy some stuff. Let's do it. Thanks.
Hello, everyone. Amber Canoy here from MomsEveryday.com. We're over at High Tech Artificial Limbs with Shane Atkins. And if a parent has suffered limb loss, maybe due to an accident or diabetes, we're still coping with that limb loss ourselves. How in the world do we get our kids to help go through that coping process? In an age-appropriate way, we need to help them be involved in the process. Let them come and meet with the prosthetist and um, learn how the process works. There's, they will realize there's going to be some modifications in life and we'll do things a little bit differently, but we can still bake cookies or have a picnic or do things around the house and they'll just realize that um, life doesn't have to change that much. It just may be a, a little bit different at first. All right. For more information, you all can go online to MomsEveryDay.com. Social security is sometimes the only thing that stands between having a roof over your head, food on the table, and being homeless. At Morgan & Morgan, we have a social security section devoted to helping you. Whether you're applying for benefits or been denied, I invite you to visit ForThePeople.com and learn more. When you visit, you can learn what benefits you're entitled to and what injuries and mental illnesses qualify for both social security and VA benefits. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. If you have arthritic knee pain that's stopping you from enjoying life, this new information about osteorelief could be for you. Specially trained local doctors are now using advanced medical science to finally make headway for people suffering from knee arthritis pain. It may even be for those who suffer from bone on bone and are considering knee replacement surgery. Are you one of the millions of Americans who have difficulty with simple everyday tasks, rising from a chair, walking, climbing stairs without using the handrail? If so, the Osteo Relief Method utilizes cutting edge video motion imaging. With this imaging, these doctors can precisely guide an FDA approved cushioning gel to relieve pain and help heal your knees. This innovative procedure is covered by Medicare and most major insurance if you qualify. And you'll be walking out in as little as 15 minutes. For a limited time, these specially trained doctors are offering a risk-free screening. Call to schedule your knee relief screening today. Hey Joe, how you doing with your new hearing aids? Hey Marty, they're great. I just wish I'd done it sooner. If you play the TV too loudly or if listening in some situations has become difficult, you're needed to participate in a special program called the 10 Day Challenge. You'll receive a complete hearing test and evaluation absolutely free. Come on and be one of the 100 participants and take the 10 Day Challenge. Hearing Solutions, helping you listen to what you're missing. I'm WKYT's Rebecca Smith and I stand for Kentucky. Welcome back. Does your family have a fire escape plan? If not, you should. It's something that could save your life. And firefighters Jessica Bowman and Todd Holman with the Lexington Fire Department are here with some tips about that. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having us again. What should you consider when you put together a fire escape plan? Well, you want to make sure you have two ways, uh, ex two exits out of every room in every house, and we want you to practice that uh, twice a year. Just think about what you would do. In exactly. That exactly. Yeah. Do you find that most families don't do this ahead of time? Right, we do find but that. Um, the school system is required to have a fire drill done every single month, mm -hmm. um, and most businesses do them at well as well, but we find that families just don't think about doing that at home. Well, and important to have also a meeting place after they after everything happens, right? Right, so a meeting place can be anywhere outside that is a safe distance from your home, so it could be a neighbor's mailbox or a tree. Um, really the most important thing about a meeting place is that everyone knows where it is and that everyone goes there in the event of emergency. You brought us some video that we'll uh, look at as well here in just a moment, and, and it has to do with uh, the smoke, which you know could be right there at your door. Right? Exactly. And the, the different le levels of smoke you'll see up high, obviously, you're going to have less visibility, so you want to stay low, uh, get out, stay out. The meeting place, like Jessica was talking about, is a great thing. People are creatures of habits, and you're going to want to go uh, to the, the meeting place. Well, it's a, a very different perspective if you are low to the ground or if you're standing up, too. What's the significance of that? Right, we teach children in the schools and, and we try to reiterate with families and parents that you always want to get low and go and like uh, Todd said, get out and stay out. Um, the, you're going to have a much uh, clearer line of vision when you're low to the ground because smoke rises mm -hmm. and so it's going to be really smoky up high where you would be standing and walking. It's going to be much clearer. 
yeah. close to the ground. I know you would want to urge people of all ages to think about this, right? I mean, it, it, because again, it could be children, it could be the elderly who uh, exactly, need exactly. to know the way out. Exactly. Uh, Three o'clock in the morning is not the time to start planning for your emergency. That's why we want to teach the kids in school. We want to also make sure the adults practice it at home. There's going to be an event at Rupp Arena tomorrow night, of course, the Kentucky-Tennessee game, and at halftime, some Lexington firefighters will get to take the court for a period of time. That is to really highlight uh, something that one of your fellow firefighters is uh, going through right now. Right. We were really fortunate. UK asked us if we had a group of firefighters who wanted to come out and play uh, five on five at halftime for a few minutes and to kind of raise awareness about firefighter Matt Logston and his battle against cancer. Um, so we're really excited for uh, Team Logston and uh, to kind of raise awareness and support his family. Yeah. Hope people will get behind him and his family for that support. Thank you. Thank you all very much Thank for you. coming in. And before we go, we want to check in with Mike. We've had a, a flake or two out there today, but uh, overall, maybe we're breaking out of this little wintry pattern for a while. Slowly but surely. We get off towards tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be much better. Let's talk about the rest of the day. 36 degrees, cloudy skies. If you're going out to dinner later on, kids coming home, uh, your wife or husband coming back from work, they're going to be running into temperatures pretty much what it feels and looks like right now is basically what it's going to be later on this afternoon. So no big issues. Off toward tomorrow, though, a big warm-up. We'll even have 60s for the weekend, and Chris Bailey will be in here 4 p.m. to get you updated on that. All right. That's going to be easy to enjoy. Oh, yes. Thank you for joining us for WKYT's New News Hour. Good news is always on at WKYT.com. Make it a great day, everybody.